Whoa! What's up, y'all? All of, uh, two people? That's, uh, honestly, more than I could ask for, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the direct. Hey, Stonepa, how you doing? What's, what's going on? I'm wearing my, uh, my epic Smash Brothers reference shirt. And, uh, we're gonna get right into it, so. Thanks for coming out. Ooh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the spoiler killing. I did not get spoiled. I deleted twi uh, deleted Twitter and Discord uh, off my phone just so that I wouldn't. I'm just gonna allow that message. All right, let's do this shit. Nintendo Switch Ultimate Direct uh, today. Have not seen anything yet. Tell me if the audio is off. Wow, it's Battlefield. Holy shit, guys! We got Battlefield back. What's up, gamer? Sick. Direct. Nice. Oh, hell yeah, Sakurai. Looking great. Also, if you're expecting, like, hype reactions and shit, you're not getting that. I'm, like, probably the least hype person. That's a lot. That's also a lot. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every I think you've always been mod. In the game. Okay, let's do this. Let's just uh, close this. Get to my Twitch page. Whoa, another a new one. Nice. My prediction. Um, Ken. I mean, I can see right now it's it's gonna be Ken. Yeah, there he is. It's the obvious choice. Oh wait a second. That's yeah. That's that's Ken. Nice. It's Ken, like I said it would be. And he's a Rio Echo, like everyone else said he'd be. Good shit, Ken. Oh, did he have... Did Ryu have that throw? That weird somersaulty thing? I don't remember that. Wait, was that cell shaded? What the hell? Excuse me. Oh, they're revealing a new one? Another fighter? Are we gonna, are we gonna get a Kuma? That's probably Akuma. Seriously, who was expecting Ken? Want to pull from left field. Also, nice. I like that. That's his final smash, I guess. But a new challenger approaches. Unless it's fucking Incineroar. I hope it's not Incineroar. It's Incineroar, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. I was hoping for Akuma. Would have much preferred Akuma. That lips, those lips did not match up at all. Fire Elmo. He's angry Elmo. Okay, that's good. That's nice. That's neat. I like that. He's just angry Elmo. That's what he is. And I guess, yeah, he has a lot of throw attacks. That would make sense because he's a wrestler. Which actually, I kind of like that. I like that sort of archetype. It's a cool... We don't really have that in Smash. So I think it's kind of neat. Is that supposed to be the weak version of the final smash? Because he got that with the meter. That looks pretty strong. He d he looks like an interesting character, I will admit. As much as I don't like Incineroar, I kind of think this is an interesting, like, play style character. Also, he looks super fucking high res. What the hell? He, lo he didn't look that good in Pokemon. Whoa, where are they going to put him? Quick, check for Little Max Glove. Wee. See, Wario's just gets to get shit on every single time. Like, there's always someone new right there to terrorize him. Ryu's rival from the Street Fighter the series Street Fighter is here. Series, it's Ken. Joins as an Echo Fighter. So this, I guess, confirms that one leak of the game, screenshot Ryu of Ken, because it's the same model, I think. I think that basically only revealed Ken, though, so good enough. But let's get back to Ken. Did Street Fighter come before Ken Mario Bros? Ken distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. The Here's best one, I think. From Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. It's just, it's just the differences between Ryu and Ken, but in Street Fighter. Why does it have a hand in it? I think I prefer Ken. 
There we go. That's yeah, it's different. Focus attack. Similar focus, I guess. Not the exact same. Can signature moves such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. Interesting. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. So is he just a better just Ryu like then? Ryu, he has two final smashes. So Mario Bros. was NES He's Street Fighter was a well, it was an arcade game, so. We've made it look flat. And I mean the original Street Fighter as well. Series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shifu Jinraiya. <laughs> Recent titles. I mean, no one wants to talk about Street Fighter V, so. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves. Sick. And as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. I'm fine with this. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful. I still got my candy. I'm gonna open one up here. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. It's That's pretty cool. I like that. Darkest Lariat. It was in the more technical Pokemon characters we can get in Smash, the better, in my opinion. It's of a red uh, all of the original characters from like Brawl and on or Brawl Behind were too simple. They only did the thing. And Smash Four started to introduce unique like concepts and gimmicks, and I thought that was really cool. We didn't get enough of it. Also, damn, rip. I'm gonna have to rewatch this a few times to like find some interesting things. Just the right moment. So it's an auto combo? If you're too oh, early, never mind. Do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Back body drop seems like it might be useful though. I don't know. It's down special is revenge. When damage in so it's a counter. Burning passion comes to the surface. Oh, so it's like a its next attack. advanced it's counter. Sinner's idea of a counter attack. And its final smash, max malicious moonsault. Nice. Even faster and fiercer he does the hits. <laughs> it's stronger than it was in Pokemon. We finally Dumb bitches think they can overtake me. The this is the initial fighter wow, that is not a lot. There aren't very many at first, Jesus. But it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all... They went back on what they said. Are they just going to show the whole roster right here? It'll look like this. It may seem hard to get wow. where each one's located. That's a lot of fighters. The number, the wait a second. So wait, that one leak. There was a leak that showed this okay, character's screen. So that one's real then? Because it showed Pichu and Pikachu were like flipped? I didn't actually look at the leak too hard, but that I guess confirms that. So I guess I'm, I'm still unspoiled. Alright. See you then, sorry. Thanks for stopping by. So we're getting amiibo for all the characters like everyone assumed we would. Good enough. Ooh! Restay. And then there's some later ones too. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. Nice. Yeah, this is the first time seeing the direct. I somehow managed to avoid all spoilers. Wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Really? Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. I, I assume you gotta make models for each one. Super Smash Brothers series is one massive. <laughs> oh no! Is every trophy gonna be a character now? A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. This is why we're getting a Monster Hunter boss. Is it because they're doing this shit? Spirit. Yep, there it is. Wow. So it's not a story mode. They should have done this on Halloween. Would have been fitting. So it's like weird assists. In the Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of imagination. It's all about imagination. I normally watch the directs like I watch the direct and then I watch the other people's reactions and see their insights and stuff usually. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Oh no, are we back to imagination world? Lose their physical forms. All of them except the fighters are turned into spirits, unable. Oh, so it is a story mode kind of. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a Whoa, it's the real Alpharad. Thanks for coming into my stream. 
You should hit that follow button, maybe. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones. This is a fucking gotcha. And some are in a league of their own. Not even gonna go to five stars? Are you kidding me? That's like. Hey, he really did it though. That's loud as shit. Ow. Alpha Rat, thank you for the follow. A primary spirit's power will be added to the. Also, hell yeah, Hinoka. I love her. 1587. Wow. So, I'm still not 100% sure what this is. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Ooh, I don't like that one. <laughs> While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Okay. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. So is this like some weird turn? Uh, oh, okay. So you attach them onto your character, the main way to and then you fight with them. Is to win spirit battles. Interesting, I guess. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter. Not picking Roche. Are you kidding? Kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny Spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red bowsers. All right. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa this pound car. This makes some sense, I think. It's a lot of hundred on what the actual gameplay mechanics of this are. Clear King DDD. So it's like a sort of like a semi challenge mode where each like each collectible has like a has like its own sort of challenge associated with it. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then like you collect them and then you can like put them on your character and then you get better. That's good enough, I guess. Wayne. Taunting at every opportunity. Killing edge in hand. What a fight. Doesn't seem like it'd be that like hard because like the taunts are pretty obvious. If you can just zone him out. Also, what the fuck? So you just gotta knock out I can't really tell what the op like the object of that one is. Oh no! What is this? Please get it away from me. Get it off my screen right now. I don't like it. Ooh. I like this remix. Have we heard this before? This sort of like faster night, I think it's like a night theme with like the fast drums and I like that a lot actually. It's really good. Literally no idea who this is. Looks like an interesting enough concept. Are we just gonna keep going through this? Is it gonna show us every single spirit? That looks like fucking chaos. Alright, we're done. Ooh, get fucked. Victory! It's Pac-Man, guys! Guys! Holy shit! It's Pac-Man right here! He's in the game! Guys, Pac-Man confirmed! Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage mm. the next time you encounter So you gotta... It's like a gotcha, but it's like skill-based. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack it's just Fire Emblem Heroes. I know this is like the triangle of fighting games or whatever the fuck, but no, this this is just Fire Emblem Heroes. When you encounter traps like poison floors and poison floors, be sure to prep yourself. It's epic yarn. I like him. I like that game. It's a good game. So make sure to read them and form the right strategy. Excuse me, whom's the fuck? With spirits on your side. Can we get Sakurai as a spirit? When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. So it's like a mobile game. Good enough. They made Smash a mobile game. You can 
also send spirits back to the real world. This is like the weirdest but mashup of like every mobile game concept I've seen. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. Holy shit. It's Bird Girl. You can also train spirits at dojos in the gym. There's Doc Lewis. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These Not even going to put Wario in this scene? But each the team treasure hunter man? Dream come true. Be fitting. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. So you can just kind of like Certain throw them on before a tournament starts, you can beat and then unlock facilities. After, the, after the day ends, you go grab them and they're all trained up. Can also what the fuck is this like weird ass like Fire Emblem Heroes Pokemon hybrid? You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. You kill them off to get power. I love her. What's her name? I don't remember her name. But just I like her a lot, though. Would you guess there are? Final Smash Meter? Wow. Severa. That's what I thought it was, but I couldn't shake the thought that it wasn't her name for some reason. Wow, that doesn't look very good. Holy shit. It's Roy, but fire. Yes, the Piantas. We all know them as uh, <laughs> fucking Kirby's. This is their way of saying, "Yeah, guys, don't worry. We got, <laughs> we got Waluigi and Smash, and then they just throw up a, a purple Luigi at you." What's the difference between Severa and Selina? Are they just the same character with different names? While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage. This is the easy mode. Click this button to win the game. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are old Marth. spirits. Oh, interesting. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, that's kinda cool. When building your team. I uh Huh, that's actually kind of interesting. I like that. Neat mechanic. Some time travel shit. Yeah, something like Fire Emblem 2. lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. But you have to have the Nintendo Online Pack. Only twenty dollars. Pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate. Oh, that's interesting. And for glory. Instead, you just kind of click the matchmaking mm. is based on three factors. Matchmaking. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. That's cool. I like that. And it just matches you up with people that so you can also want to play that. Play and there's probably going to be like an online, like a competitive standard. And all players will fight using those rules. That's pretty cool. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players. So it's like a combination of the Brawl system and the Smash 4 system mixed into one. Oh, no one liked this. Did anyone like this? It's this fucking guy again. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases. Or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious. I don't think anyone gave a shit about GSP. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. GSP is just it's just a ranking system, but like ooh, that's an odd choice of font. GSP is just a fucking ranking system, but they wanted to make sure that the babies wouldn't get sad when they're ranked to 10 millionth. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. 
That's fair, I guess. Plug in the fucking LAN adapter. <laughs> this goes out to everyone watching. Plug in your LAN adapters. Elite battles? Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. Backroom battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good. Period. This the, the standards for this are probably gonna be very low. And the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. I don't think you do. If you beat a fellow player, You'll receive their smash tag. <laughs> Fucking dog tags. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags huh. as you win. So it's dog tags for babies then. Lots of smash tags. It'd be really funny if like if you lose a match you lose your tag and you have to you find that one person and rematch them to get your tag back. Using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a That's interesting. I'm glad that they added this. Messages. Very preset messages. <laughs> they knew. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. That's pretty cool. I like that. Every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns. So it's like the the fighting game version, or the fighting game system where they just kind of let you play the game while you're matchmaking. Spectator, I like that mode. Can you still bet? Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. I love playing double Joy-Con. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. Rooms? If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas... Ooh, friends off! That's pretty cool, actually. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch Online app. Everyone loves it. Nintendo it's Switch it's Toad, guys! Toads in Smash! Arenas. Are we getting like three character reveals? How long are we? We're already halfway, over halfway through, Jesus. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of Smash World? Stats like win -loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates. So they're just remaking Miiverse, but as separate platforms for whichever games it was most popularly used on. Next, they're just like, yeah, let's just cut out all the bullshit. About assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? It's Pong from Pong. I love Pong. She's cute. Is this Fatal Frame? I don't know. Yeah, okay, cool. It was just a one hit. Hope it's not a one hit, I swear to god. Okay, no, just paralysis. Good enough. Also, damn, wrecking through it. I hate that stage. Isaac! Uh... Was this de this D confirms the leak, right? Because he wasn't uh, he was in the leak, wasn't he? I think. Black Knight. Everyone thought he'd be a character. No, no one actually thought he'd be a character. What? It's Kerb. Oh, okay. Good good joke, Sakurai. It's PM. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? Interesting. Spring Man. I guess he kind of makes more sense as an assist, to be honest. Because having him as a character would be kind of busted. You'd have to balance him super hard. Wily! Let's go, Dr. Wily! Not even Wily, just the Wily capsule. Oh, there he is. Flies and hand. Oh, does it, does it do that with the screen? I swear. This piece is some obnoxious shit. Tiki! I like her. She's cute. Except not when she's a dragon. I, I'm not too fond of that. Vince! I like Vince. He's a nice guy. But 
Are we gonna get the Mo the Mona Lisa to come to life and kill us? Is that cop? Can we? Can they do that? That has to be public domain, right? Guile from Street Fighter. Is that all he does? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's his owner. <laughs> Makes sense. Akira, they put him in here just because they didn't want to make a, an actual model. <laughs> this was their time-saving character, their cost cutter. They were just like, yeah, we can make this guy in a day. It's not that bad. Squid Sisters. I'm a, I like him. Assist trophies who can be KO'd Shummel Knight. Be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way you won't lose a point. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. That's like some strate str strategic now, play. Like Still so much more. Wow. Help! If you want to review the I need some of that. Game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Just kind of information on what happens and shit. Little character guides. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Sentry Smash. May look Sentry to smash. It feels great to keep oh, is it just a hundred? Hundred man. You can play on many smash. Stages, and you can choose the music too. So it's like. In previous games, you have Interesting. So they like took the ones that people played the most now, and threw them in. Right out of the box. The currently available fighters Fair enough, I suppose. You can save the replay data of your battles. Whoa! Camera movements. And now you can That's good. With it. Big fan. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Oh, the camera's actually kind of cool because when them, you can like by category or fighter. for like a tournament if you want to do like highlight reels of like the best matches, like you can save them and then do like your dynamic camera shit. Complete challenges to earn rewards. That's cool. This time each page is sorted by category and the layout looks more like a comic book. Doesn't Just look the like there's a lot of these. Each picture. Enjoy. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online. All right, so all the shit no one cares about, pretty much. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. I like how they put Guile on the menu, even though he's only an assist. Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. Literally, pay to win. Music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. That's actually kind of nice. I appreciate that. They're just like, yeah. We'll just fucking give it to you, enter the if you want. By pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. Convenient, it's just right there. Language support! This Can we change the character voices? Nice. I know this is very important to some of you. There's Korea. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. So you can just turn on the Japanese. Nice. You just... Villageois! Habitante! So wait, are we just using Xander Mobus again? I think we're just using Xander again. That's good enough for me. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. That's pretty con con cool, convenient. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Interesting. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Also interesting, I suppose. Custom balance. <laughs> we'll just let you guys do it for us. Wow, literally, huh? Sometimes a player is just too good. And you want to take measures to ensure this is actually really fight. fucking funny. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom They're just like, adjusted, yeah, man, we know Cloud, Cloud, and Bayonet are busted, so we just turned them down a bit. This feature is not available during wireless and online battles. You can customize your actually. I wonder how that'll factor into comp. Like, will they? Will they, Will we just like turn Bayonetta down? That's kind of interesting.
Hmm. Please, no. Stop it. Don't. No. 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 We're not doing this. I don't want to... No. How, how do I turn this off? I don't want to... No, we're not doing me fighters right now. I refuse. No me fighters. Oh, Splatoon 2. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's put the... Uh, let's put the screen back on. Ribbon girl. Couldn't make her an assist. So they made her a me. I don't like that. That's really bad, actually. I really don't like that. Chibi Robo? Whoa! Deconfirmed again. Ray Mach 3. That's a me fighter. Do people even know who he is? That is kind of clever. I like that one. What's. Excuse me, what's that? Unless I missed it earlier. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. Okay. So pre-game DLC then. So this is the final roster then. 69 characters. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include. Unless we develop new fighters from scratch. So they're gonna announce the DLC then? Echo fighters. Or are they not gonna? We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. The price for each set is expected to be five ninety nine. That's fair, I guess. At the same time, we will offer the fighters pass. Super Smash Brothers season pass. Five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. So five DLCs confirmed then, at least as of now. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. Please do it. However, please allow us to offer this pass no. before we're ready to reveal its. Content. Why? I hope only those no. in its value will purchase it. Sakurai, we want to know the fighters. The price is twenty four ninety nine for all five sets. Now that we finally confirmed the development of like this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. By the way, never, never. He's never gonna get it. Ooh, nice. He's gonna give us a character, I assume. Nope, never mind. Ooh, that makes me sad because it means we probably ain't getting Pyra then or Mithra. Aww. No one wants to play as Rex, though. We all want to play as Pyra and Mithra, though. Oh, well. There she is. There's the girl. I got a wall art of her. Makes me genuinely sad. There's gotta be some shit, right? Oh, don't want to... Click the button because I'll see it. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free. A free limited time offer. What? What? It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Excuse me. What is this? It's Luigi. Oh no, they're all stunned. <laughs> Mario is fucking pissed. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? What the- f upset well not even upset I just I don't know how to feel 
I'm just glad it isn't Gino, I guess. Anything preventing him from getting in the game makes me happy. But, uh, what the- I'm sorry, what the fuck? That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Brothers. What the Ultra. fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Why'd they do this? Fire off spiky balls and perform long range attacks. They could have given us Lin, they could have given us Ashley, they could have given us Waluigi. But no, they gave us Piranha Plant. I think... Do we have an actual excuse now for saying that characters steal slots? Because I'm... I'm just... Oh, fuck, I hate this. I hate this so much. It makes me genuinely sad. <laughs> Why the fuck? You know, the inner fucking degenerate in me really likes this. Makes me really happy that they did this, but I also genuinely hate it at the same time. I might just buy Smash Brothers, like the game, before I get a Switch just so I can get fucking Piranha Plant. Unless you have to register it in time, in which case, oops. Well. Well. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Hey, that's me. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Oh, I probably should um wait till the uh, the Rex over though. So please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next. 74. Oh, that's including Piranha Plant, isn't it? That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Holy shit. Before the game launches. There's nothing on the screen. Right now, I'm just gonna minimize it just in case. What happened on that fateful day? What? I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing. Oh, so there is a. For the subspace emissary. So there is an adventure mode then. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. What? Okay then. Sakurai. To the game's I was hoping for like a. I keep just kind of like. Forgetting that Piranha Plant's a character, and I'm like, but what the character reveal? But I just don't want to accept. Holy shit, it's Shadow. He has a gun. <laughs> Guys, there was already a furry in, with a gun in the game the whole time. It's the brawl thing. Holy shit. It's the master hands. Holy. What the fuck? It's Ho Oh. Master Ho Oh. We'll each need to take down about 10. I don't like. I don't like Roy with English voice acting. We'll win this. I, know we will. I am uh, iffy on Zelda's voice acting. And Pitts just kind of sounds like Pitts, so good enough. Also, it's like really fucking stupid ass standard text, so. Oh, so. I mean, uh. Is it taboo? Like, I think it is taboo, but we haven't seen him, so, like, straight up, so. What's happening? What about to happen? Well, never mind. Oh shit, you get fucking bait. There's a joke I can make right here, but I'm not gonna do it because it's uh, a bit too obvious. Is this why you can only play as like five characters to start off the game? Because they all got fucking Thanos? <laughs> not good enough, kiddos. That just makes me sad. Oh. Excuse me. It's Kirby! Yeah, it's Kirby. Kirby gets away because he's one of the starter characters. Ooh, never heard that sound effect, actually. Does that actually happen in Kirby? Does it get that loud? Oh, there's all the, sh the um, spirits. Vap oh my god, is he vaporizing the galaxy? Excuse me, what the fuck? I thought this was a kid's party game. Is this Infinity War part? Is this Infinity War 2? Infinity War 2. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Is this how they're going to announce fucking Hades? Kirby, hang on. Ooh. Vocal mix.
Good enough. Let's turn that back down. Holy shit, it's Trophy Man. Is this just like retconning Brawl? I'd be like, yeah, we kind of like made a pseudo story, but like, here's what actually happened. Oh, it's Evil Mario! Now he's really fucking pissed! They ain't purple anymore, they're just red now. Ooh, that is, I don't... <laughs> I really don't like that picture. So my Mark looks just kind of the same. So it is like a story mode then. It's like a, a pseudo story mode. Shantae? I like her. She should have been in the game. Nice. Oh, was that the Master Core? That might have been what that was. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, World of Light. Are we getting a subtitle for a subtitle? Yeah, Martha's just too pure. Martha's our baby boy. It's over! Wow. Good shit, I think. Hmm. Let's watch the gameplay. At the treehouse. But not the entire thing. Let's just skim through it. He speaks Japanese. What a cool guy. Uh. Uh. They're a Sakurai. I like that man. Let's check out. They're gonna show off more Ridley. Good enough. Uh. I want to see Piranha Plant gameplay. Is it even like, is it even ready? Do they have the character ready yet? Hmm. I don't think there's really anything here that's um, notable. Secret part of the trailer most people missed. I don't, I don't... I don't like what you're about to do to me, Stompa. I don't appreciate this. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. I absolutely should have. But I like it, so you get a retweet. Thank you. Good job. And I'm going to send this to a friend. Oh, that's my Twitch. Shouldn't show that, should I? Hmm. Well, good enough. Direct. It's been directed. Uh, 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 well, I don't really feel like playing Undertale right now. I just kind of want to observe myself in all the new Smash knowledge. I think this is underwhelming. I th was expecting uh, more characters, I guess. I think maybe it was Piranha Plant. I think Piranha Plant just drained me, but uh, that's uh, that's gonna be it, I guess. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning into my live stream. Maybe I'll uh, save this vod and upload it onto like YouTube or some shit for my channel because that's fucking dead. Dab for the outro. Wee.